Hi, I'm Shriya. I'm a Japanese chef and today what I'm going to teach you is how to make an uramaki or an inside out roll. So keep watching. In order to make uramaki, I'm going to use the following ingredients. The first is I need about 180 to 200 grams of cooked sushi rice. You can refer to my other links where I have shown how to prepare sushi rice. The next thing is I would be requiring about 50 grams of raw tuna. You can use other fish or other vegetables as well. This is su sufficient for one sushi roll. The next thing I would be pairing the tuna is with about 20 to 30 grams of green apple. It has a nice combination and it goes really well with tuna. And then I would be requiring about 5 to 7 grams of roasted white sesame seeds. Also, I would be requiring about half a sheet of seaweed or nori. So let's get started with the making of the uramaki. I would be cutting the tuna first into longitudinal strips so that it becomes easier for me. You can also use various other fish like salmon. You can use prawns, you can use vegetables like avocado, maybe asparagus for that matter, even cucumber, uramakis are pretty nice. So it's been cut, now I'll be cutting the the green apple. All these things should be done immediately. Uh, and use immediately otherwise it will go black so I'll be using a sushi mat now this is available just like that you know but what I do is I cover it up with a cling film this prevents from any rice or any other ingredients sticking onto it and also prevents the growth of fungus so after having placed the mat I'm going to use the nori seaweed the half sheet of nori seaweed now if you notice that I'm actually keeping it properly cling wrapped or uh, you know sealed why because it absorbs a lot of moisture and will go soggy so it'll go bad so just be careful about that moisten your hands as I said I would be requiring about 180 to 200 grams of cooked sushi rice you start placing the rice along the length of the nori seaweed. Moisten your hands again if the rice is sticking. And for this, I would be covering up the entire seaweed with rice. For the hosomaki, I had left about a finger's gap from top. But for this one, I'll be covering up the entire seaweed with rice. This is a version that is most popular outside Japan for that matter like it has been popular as rice by a lot of Americans because they don't really like to bite into the seaweed. This works in India as well for that matter. So I'm going to sprinkle the roasted sesame seeds. The sesame seeds has two functions. One is that it gives it that nuttiness and two, it also prevents the rice from staying on to mat, if at all it does. <clears throat> I shall turn it over. Now I'm going to place the strips of tuna that I've cut up. If you think it's a little long, just cut it up. So you place along the center. Then I'm going to place the green apple. The green apple has a slight acidity which complements the flavour of tuna plus it has that crunchiness. You can also pair cucumber with it, you can pair spring onions with it. Okay, I moisten my hands again and then I pick up the mat, hold on to the stuffing and I roll. I kind of moisten the mat again and roll further. Just make a tight firm roll. It shouldn't be too tight as well. So once this is done, 
you moisten the blade of your knife and this being slightly thicker we are going to cut it into eight pieces instead of six from the center get the two cut edges together clean your knife again from the center clean knife again so that's your uramaki or the inside out roll a lot of people refer this to as a california roll but that's not the right term so there you go so here is the uramaki that i was talking about with tuna and green apple you have it with soy which is shoyu you have it with gari which is pickled ginger and the ever popular wasabi if you like this recipe do subscribe to india food network for any queries comments or if you would want me to make any japanese recipe that you wish to do do write in i'll be most happy to assist thank you arigatou gozaimasu